channel. So today, as you guys can tell by the title, I am going to be bringing you some jeans, okay? It is very, very important and sometimes very, very hard for a plus size woman to find a good pair of fitting jeans where she can sit down in, she can stand in, she can move around in, she can flex in, whatever she wanna do. It is very hard sometimes to find some good pair of plus size jeans. So I wanted to show you guys a few jeans that I got from Ashley Stewart. Well, I got one pair from Ashley Stewart and three pair from Tori. Listen, Tori is the go-to. Like, I'm sorry, Tori is a go-to for a lot of things, but primarily for me, Tori is a go-to for jeans um, and for a few tops, like blazers or whatever, um, a few tops and definitely their shoes, okay? Number one go-to for their shoes which I will be having a accessory, jewelry, and shoe haul um, all in one pretty soon and a couple videos coming soon. So be on the lookout for that. Also, do you guys notice anything different about me? <laughs> your girl cut her hair off. Yes, I did. Look, like your girl just, I, listen. I, you know, it's, it's so many goals that I wanna accomplish and so many things I put on my vision board and one of them was self-care. And you guys, as you guys see, I did post a video on self-care and actually, I told you guys I was cutting my hair off, right? I did a self-care video, I was getting my hair done, well, I got a hair consultation, um, I was getting my nails done and stuff, so if you guys have not seen that video, go check it out, it's about maybe a couple videos back. But, um, so yeah, I completely forgot. I told you guys I was going to do this, but I just wanted a different change. I wanted this year to be, you know, relatively different a little bit, um, kind of revamping myself, my look, all that good stuff. So I've always had long hair. Okay. Always had long hair. I'll pop a picture in here or I, okay. I'll pop a picture in here again. I did on the other video, but I'll pop another one here. Um, but I've always had long hair. All of my life, I've always had long hair and I've always had gray hair, okay? I'm 34 years old with a head full of gray hair. So I just really wanted to do something drastic that's that's completely different, you know, than me. And so I just cut it off. And the crazy thing is, is that I was very scared to go to a salon before, right? I was never going into a salon like that. I just washed my own hair, cut my own ends, and kept it moving, right? Because I was afraid that they were going to cut off all my hair. You know, they'll say, oh, you know, you need your ends clipped, and the next thing you know, you coming out bald, okay? So I was not gonna chance that. So it's ironic how I was afraid to do that, and then now I intentionally went to go get it cut off. So. I'm still getting used to it. I love the color. It really makes me feel like a woman. And what I mean by that is, you know, I I don't wanna go into the whole story, but I felt like, you know, I was kind of hiding behind my hair just a little bit because I had long hair. You know, if you, you women, you already know what it is to kind of hide behind your hair, you know, and be so fascinated with it. And, you know, you can get away with a lot of things. And it was just like, when you don't really have that as your security blanket, you have no choice but to face head on, right? So it was like, okay, I'm cutting off my security blanket and you have no choice but to see not only the world, but to see me, but for me to see me, right? So I was just like, oh my God. So I'm getting, I'm still getting used to the cut because I do realize I have a small head. I have a small round head. So it may look like I have a small head and a big body. <laughs> but okay, whatever. This is going to match up with this. Okay, just give me a couple months. But overall, I, I like it. I love it. I love the color. The color I feel like really brings my tone, my melanin out, okay? And the cut, I'm still getting used to, but I like it, I really do. I love, I wanted a bob kind of look, and I'm just, I'm on this journey of treating my hair and um, nurturing my hair back to health. So I know that ain't had nothing to do with the video, but I just kind of wanted to point that out, okay? But check my other self-care video out. I go through all of this as to why and all that good stuff, okay? All right, so let's get into why we really here, okay? Okay, so I'm bringing you guys a pair of jeans. I got four pair of jeans and I got a few tops, actually just two tops. 
Um, but I'm doing the video because, like I said, it's really hard for us to find a good pair of jeans. I know for me it is, and especially if you have a big midsection, it can be pretty hard to find a good pair of jeans, okay? So these pair of dreams, dreams, <laughs> these pair of jeans here are from Ashley Stewart. I don't know, I, maybe it's just me, but I don't see a lot of people do a lot of Ashley Stewart hauls. Maybe some people think they're outdated. Maybe some people don't like them, but I, for one, I like them. Like they, I think they're very, very fashionable, very fashionable. So I don't know, but I like Ashley Stewart. So I want to try a pair of their jeans. I don't think I own a pair of their jeans. So I really wanted to try them just because of that as well. But these are the distressed um, high waist jeans. Okay. They are a size um, 28. Now I will say that it took a little bit for me to put to get them on. Um, essentially, when I tried, when I put them on, when I was you know hiking and doing my little shimmy shimmy, right? I was like, mm, this may not work, okay? But then I tried. To, so <sighs> this is how I knew it wasn't really going to fit properly, is because it was kind of hard to button them, you know. And then I had to, it was kind of hard to zip, as you can see. Then I had to do one of these where I kind of lift it up, pull it up over, you know what I'm saying? So it can sit right on my stomach. But I know that if I sit down, it's not going to feel comfortable. So these are probably not going to be a good fit for me. Um, I mean, I can get them on, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle. Um, but I just know that if I sit down, if I do anything, if I drive or whatever the case may be, and it involves me bending down, it's just not going to work. So these are not going to be a good pair. I like the style though, the distressed style. Like I love this. I'm, I'm all for this. I'm feeling this. Oh, and then it has that little, uh, it doesn't really cover my butt. As you can see, it got the underwear look. Y'all know what that is, right? So it's not really covering my rump. So I don't really too much like that. It made my booty look good, but I don't know. Mm. I, I give the style of the jeans like a nice eight, but the overall fit and the overall likeness of these jeans, I would give a six, right? So these may not be a good fit. Mm -mm. Um, I would probably recommend to give some stretch in your jeans, Ashley Stewart, because it does not have any stretch. Um, it does perfect to get on, but it's not going to be comfortable throughout the day. So I think you, if you add a little bit of elastic to it or kind of make the material more of a stretch material um, to the jean, it will make it more comfortable to wear throughout the day. So that is my critique. Um, and I paired it with this nice little cute little top. This is a tunic off the shoulder top, baby blue size 4X. Um, I'm tending to do this, I don't know why, but you know, you can either hike it up or hike it down if you want. Um, but I think I like this little tunic look. I like this little shirt. It's cute. It's cute to pair with this, um, with some nice maybe cute wedges or whatever if you want. And um, yeah. Okay, so here we have the second pair of jeans. Now this is what I'm talking about. These are Tory jeans. This is what I'm talking about, Ashley Stewart, okay? I'm sorry, you know, to kind of compare you guys, but it is what it is, all right? This is a review. <laughs> These jeans, when I put them on instantly, I felt the stretch in them. These fit so good. I know I can bend over, sit down, eat, whatever the case may be, and not have to unbutton my pants when I'm done, okay? Y'all know what that feels like, all right? It has so much stretch to these jeans, but it still gives that fit type. This is a mid fit, um, super skinny jean, medium wash. This is a size 28. They fit so good. I love this style here, the distress look here. I will say when I first put them on, I thought it wasn't gonna fit because the bottom here at the ankle, it's very, very fit like, um, like um, a legging, very tight at the ankles. But it's supposed to be like that and then as you pull them up and as you if you if i take actually i may do that i'll take off the jeans so you can see the shape of the pants um but they're very fitted at the ankle part and then it kind of gives you a little bit of room at the top but i love the way these fit now i will say the back does show my underwear okay so i'm just convinced it's just my butt like there's no way i can work around that it's my butt okay 
I just gotta blame it on the butt, all right? So I have to just choose what kind of underwear I'm gonna wear <laughs> with these um, because obviously my granny panties is not gonna work. Which by the way, don't judge me because I know a lot of y'all want some granny panties and they are so comfortable. <sighs> but yeah, so I really, really like these jeans. Like, uh, these are so cute. Listen, Tori, you are the goat for the jeans. Like, and you make me look so thick. Mm. Uh -huh. Ew. What? Okay, I'm so weird. Anyway, I'm gonna take these off and let you guys show what I'm talking about as far as what the ankle part look like. Okay, so I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about here at the bottom. You see how it's very fit at the bottom ankle part? Hold on. Okay. So you see how it's very, very fit right here at the very bottom, right? And then it kind of just flares out as you get to the top. I hope you guys can really see that on camera. But um, so it definitely does hug your ankles at the bottom and then give your calves and the rest of your, your legs a little bit of room. So that's what I was talking about where it kind of fits tight around the ankle and then just kind of flare out and give you that room for your thighs to breathe okay all right so let me go on to the last two pair of jeans and i'll probably switch the shirt so you guys can see the other shirt i have um so yeah okay so here we have another pair of jeans here now tore it i may have hyped you up just a little bit um because these are not gonna fit so these are the stove pipe what they call it the stove pipe uh classic jean these are definitely a classic jean fit denim because they feel like them old school jeans right they don't really have a lot of stretch to them yeah so this is definitely a classic um so first of all i love the style i love again the distressed look within the kneecap area um these are button up here if you can see these are a button up type, so I didn't even try because I just knew it wasn't gonna work. These have absolutely no stretch to them. Um, so yeah, and with my midsection, my midsection, they're just not gonna vibe together. Okay, they're not gonna vibe together. So, oh, I thought I said I was going to change my shirt. I'll show you guys in a second. But um, so yeah, I love the style of them. I really, really do. But and as you can see, the undies are showing. So that also is a uh, for me. So overall, yeah. I mean, I love the color, the mid-wash color. I mean, the medium wash color. I love the style. I really just wish they would fit up here. I'm not opposed to the whole button-up, you know, type of look. <sighs> My nail appointment. Um, I'm not opposed to the whole button-up look um, to button up your pants. That's cool but it definitely is no stretch in these i would absolutely these these are pants the kind of pants where you have to lay down on a bed <laughs> and, and 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 do that and i remember th them days are way past me i'm not doing that no more that was like when i was young okay so um i just really wish they would fit because i really like them uh the bottom of the jeans actually has that hem type of um look which i'll show you guys as well what that looks like but man, whew, I wish these fit. That would have been cute, but let me show you the bottom. Okay, so these are what the bottom, I'm sorry, this <laughs> is what the bottom looks like. Um, these are the bottom of the jeans. It's that, you know, cut off um, type of look. I said hemmed, but you know what I mean, that cut off type of look, which I think is cute and it's different. Um, so that was comfortable at the bottom. I, I can go for um, a leg or ankle that gives me a little bit of room, give me a little bit of freedom and won't hug on my ankles. If they're comfortable like the other jeans and hug on my ankles, that's cool. Um, but then I can also go for something that doesn't. So this is cool. And they got a nice little crease. Okay. All right. So you ironed your jeans before you sent them to me? Like I can, I can dig that toward. I appreciate you. Thank you for looking out because I definitely don't iron. <laughs> But um, yeah, so uh, I wish they fit, but they don't. These are a size 28, if I did not say. They have no stretch to them. I like the style and all that, but it's a no for me so far. Uh, what, is it only one pair of jeans that fit right? Dang. All right, let's see if these last jeans fit. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> we go ahead and close this haul. <laughs> it's a wrap. 
Maybe the jeans changed since the last time I wore some. <laughs> but what is this? What? What is this? What? Torrent, what? I can't even get these on, y'all. Look, I can't even. I can't. This is this is as far as it go. Like, look. I can't even get. Okay, so these are, first of all, they're tight, okay? So these are the High Rise Straight Jean Classic Denim. Um, where's the high rise at? Because right now they're pretty low, okay? Number one. Two, where's the stretch in them? Like, I don't even think, these are a size 26. So is it me or the jean? Like, what's going on? I don't understand. Okay, I gave y'all a little bit too much credit to her. Like, what's going on? The, I think it was the, was it the first or the second pair of jeans that fit me great. These? I okay. I mean, yeah. So, as you can see, this is not going to work. Okay? Um, I can't fit these. Um, dang, your and your pockets are extra short. I can't stand jeans that don't have deep pockets. Like, what? I can't. I can barely fit my hit my fist in these things. Okay, it's a wrap. Like, I'm done. I'm over it. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry. I thought these jeans were literally going to fit all of them. I was super excited. I'm like, tore it. As I said, was the goat. <sighs> They're more like a lamb at this point because it didn't work. So, Mary had a little lamb. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try on this top and these pair of leggings and then that's it, okay? Tori, you've disappointed me. Like, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm a member, I'm a VIP member, I just found out the other day. I'm a VIP member at Tori, like, you know, I'm for you, but like, what's going on with these jeans? I have four pair of jeans out of four, only one fit right? No, I have three pair of jeans from Tori, and out of three, only one fit right? That's disrespectful. Whatever, let's go back to Ashley Stewart and see if I can end this video with a bang. Okay, so we're gonna end this video with a semi bang, okay? Not too mad at this look. I think the shirt could be a little bit bigger, but we'll get into that. Um, this top and these leggings are from Ashley Stewart. This is a keyhole mock blouse, size 26, 28. And these are some uh, basic cotton rust leggings, a size 26, 28. Um, when I was ordering, I thought that these two would go together, which I do think it will go together because obviously the rust color brings out the rust color in um, the shirt. So that's absolutely great. I just wish that the shirt was a little bit longer and will be cool. Like if it was one of those um, big blouse type of uh, fit style at the bottom, this will be perfect, okay? Uh, and then with a nice cute heel, this will be perfect, all right? But it's just, it's really, really tight. It does not cover my butt, which I particularly like for my shirts to cover my butt, especially if I'm wearing um, leggings, absolutely. So, but I'm not mad, I'm not mad at this look. I can either wear this top with um, some jeans um, or I can do what I'm liking, but I probably, I don't know, I have to figure out what I'll really do. Um, but I'm not too mad at the blouse though. It is cute, as you can see, this is where it gets the keyhole name from. Um, it's really, really cute and then it ties in the back um, in the neck area. So this is really cute though. It is a nice good material size, nice thick material actually. Um, so it's not one of those really light kind of blouses. Um, and then you can they do have some buttons here at the uh, wrist that you can unbutton if you want to kind of flip it back if you like that kind of style. But I think this is cute and this is just a nice pair of regular cotton leggings. Very, very comfortable, very, very stretch, stretch Ugle or whatever has a nice thick band around the waist so you know that's my thing i'm actually probably gonna keep these on because like i said i have a nail appointment and i'm gonna just throw on the top and keep it moving but um yeah so i'm, I'm not too mad at, i'm not too mad at this so that's pretty much what i have for you guys i wish that these jeans fit a lot better but it is what it is okay I don't know. Again, maybe the styles and the materials have changed since the last time I wore jeans because I don't wear jeans. Like in my real life, everyday life, I don't wear jeans. This is my go-to every single day. 
I am a legging girl. If you don't know that by now, and how many times I told you guys on this channel, I am a legging girl, okay? A legging and a maxi dress girl. I don't particularly wear a lot of jeans. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be keeping only one pair of jeans um, and the rest, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that tunic top. It's cute though. I could probably do a lot with it. I don't know, I'll think about it. But I'm definitely gonna give away the rest of those jeans um, because you girl, it's, it's just not, it's not gonna work. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you leave your comments down below as much as you can. Um, I do appreciate the comments that you guys do leave me. I appreciate the love that you guys give me. And um, you know your girl definitely got some more hauls coming, some accessory hauls coming, um, beautiful purses. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show y'all. And you know Valentine's Day is coming up, so you know, you already know your girl's gonna have a haul for that, okay? Like the clothes are in my closet as we speak, okay? I got prepared early. All right, I will say though, there was one outfit that I ordered. Has anybody else done this where you thought you was getting the whole outfit and you end up just getting the top or the bottom? I opened it, I'm like, uh, where's the bottom at? Where's the skirt part to it? I look at my order, it was just the top. I said, you know what? This really pissed me off. So I have to go back on there. I tried to find the bottom piece, I couldn't find it. So I'm probably gonna get another dress because I wanna get so many dresses and so many pair of, uh, I wanna do kind of different looks, right? Dresses, pants, skirts, or whatever. So I gotta go back on there. Hopefully I'll place the order today and then it'll be here enough time for me to show you guys um, weeks before, um, what is this, Valentine's Day that's coming up? Um, so anyway, so yeah, that's just a little bit behind the scenes of what's going on. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to follow me on my TikTok and my Instagram, which is Monet's Curvy Closet. Um, my uh, website, monetscurvycloset.com. And if you want to talk to me, chit chat, holla at your girl, monetscurvycloset at gmail.com. I appreciate you guys, love you guys, and I'll catch you on another video. Bye, girl!